Motorcycle helmets. We all need to wear one, but what should you choose and how do you know it's compliant? Devraj is from Crash Lab and he's the person who smashes, bashes and crashes helmets to keep us safe. My name is Devraj Muniswamy. I run most of the research projects for helmet testing at Crash Lab. When you're wearing a helmet, what is that you want? You want the helmet to stay on your head when you come off. So for that, we do a stability test. It's called dynamic stability. When you do the test, it's not supposed to come off your head or should not expose your head too much. So for the success you impact, you're still protected. Then you're gonna have an impact. So when you have an impact that is falling, hitting a concrete surface, so the helmet has to crush and absorb the energy. That's what we do as impact energy detonation. When you're doing impact energy detonation, we are getting how the lineup compresses and absorbs energy. So when we drop, we got an accelerometer that measures the deceleration of the head form. There's one more test we do, which is unique to crash program, which is oblique impact test. What we do is we don the helmet on a hybrid tree, anthropomorphic dummies head and neck, and we drop it on a moving surface at 30 kilometers an hour and measure the neck loading, neck moments, head deceleration, angular acceleration, and so on. What we do is we hire a wind tunnel and we put a helmet onto a mannequin and we it's subject to 100 kilometers per hour wind speed and we measure the neck loading, drag and the noise induced because of the air pressure and also the ventilation, how good the airflow is happening within the head when you're riding. We do a crash program, average 30 helmets per year. Every year, we put them into series of testing and all the tests are published in our Motocap website. So this has been going on since 2009. So we should have like at least 300 helmets there for you to choose which is the safest helmet that fits within your budget. All the riders and pillions have to wear a Certi uh, authorized helmet. With Australian certified helmets, you can clearly see a sticker at the back or to the uh, left side of the helmet on the shell. It's clearly visible. But in UNSC, it's most of the time, it's inside the retention webbing in the sleeve. If you pull the sleeve out, and if you can see the certification mark there. Basically, they should pick up a full face helmet because it offers more protection for all over, coverage as well, and chin bar as well. And we also recommend them to pick up a bright color so other drivers and riders, they, you're visible clearly. Every test is exciting, but when we find finally the helmets that perform five star, like a four star, and that's the most exciting part. It makes me feel good, especially when I know that it's going to keep the people, uh, riders, safe on the roads. We hope that helps, so go to Motocap and check out the safety ratings on the helmets that they've tested. And when you're done, head over to bikertalk.com.au. We currently have a massive sale on shark helmets, and in particular, we're overstocked with extra smalls. So if your head is more like an apple than a watermelon, then you're in luck.